Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Portrait Mode by Raquel Welch, a brand new style just released. This is in the color SS Iced Cafe Latte and the number code for this color is RL9 slash 24 SS. I am so excited to bring you this super cute bob. You know, sometimes I wonder, can I be so excited about every wig? Because I do say that a lot, but I really am. I just love sharing new styles. I love hair. And I know that there's someone out there looking for the perfect bob. This might be it. If you'd like to find out, stick around. thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me this piece so I could show it to all of you. Name Brand Wigs is a fantastic resource for us wig wearers. They're so committed to bringing reviews and information to the wig wearing community. That's why they send so many wigs out for review. They have a great customer service team. So if you need help on your wig wearing journey, you're looking for something and you're having trouble finding it, you need some advice uh, because you're pretty new, please reach out to them. Their customer service team is really fantastic. They receive great training. I actually had a call with them recently so I could learn a little bit more about how they train their customer service reps, what resources they provide to them, and based on what I learned, I recommend them unreservedly, unreservedly, <laughs> without reservation. I really think they can help you. So you can email them at support at namebrandwigs.com or you can call them and there is a phone number at their website, which is namebrandwigs.com. All right, you guys, let's talk about this style. First of all, let's look at it from all sides. It is really, really darling. So this wig has a full mono top and a lace front. You may be wondering how this wig compares to a few other Raquel Welch styles that are out there that are similar but a little bit different. I would say that this style is similar to Untold Story, but Untold Story has a little bit of flippy kind of waves at the bottom that in on my piece I actually took out with a hot airbrush. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how easy it is to restyle a heat-friendly straight bob with a hot airbrush. So if you are un you don't think you're gonna want a heat-friendly wig, you now that you know this is heat-friendly, you're gonna click off, please wait. Because I have some tips for you, and if you're liking this style, I think they might make all the difference and open up a whole line of wigs to you that you didn't think would work for you. I wish I had my untold story here right now so I could show it to you, but I actually sent it off to a wig maker to make into a human hair version so I don't have it but my I have tons of pictures so if I can if I remember I'll maybe put a couple of side by sides out just so you can see how they compare mine has been modified though because I did take the flippies out and that is something super easy to do so if you're looking at this piece this one wants to flip out on this side but not this side that is super easy to remedy all you have to do is take your hot airbrush and kind of curve it under with the round barrel and you will take care of any flippies. Likewise, one thing I'm noticing about this one is the fibers up here want to sort of fall forward, which I do notice quite a bit on full monotop wigs. All you have to do is take your hot airbrush and just redirect these fibers kind of back so that instead of falling forward, they'll go back a little bit and you can even make it so they have a little bit of a lift five minutes or less and it's super easy to do. You can also do it with a round brush and a hair dryer. That is one of the great benefits of heat friendly wigs is you can uh, modify little things here and there that aren't ideal for you. Especially straight bobs. I truly in my opinion my preference for a straight chin length or above bob are heat friendly fibers. I think they're the most realistic of all the synthetic fibers as far as how they feel. I also think that they look nat more natural. They're less shiny than regular synthetic can be. There's so many great things about heat friendly. I'm 
really a fan of straight heat friendly bobs. So just putting that little plug in for you. Let's take a look at this lace front. Raquel Welch makes the best lace fronts, in my opinion, because they look so seamless. When I wear my straight up with a twist, when I wear untold story, people cannot believe I am wearing a wig. I will get up in a friend's face just like this and they still can't believe it. So, I mean, they're really good lace fronts. The caution I will give you though about the lace fronts is because one of their techniques that makes it so seamless is they take all the highlight color, whatever the highlight color is in the wig, I have a feeling I pulled it back a little too far, and they'll put it really heavy up at the front. That way you don't see any dark knots because if you look at the parting space right here, you can see a little bit of darker knotting for the, from the darker color in here. If they didn't take all the light colors up front, you'd see a little bit of that darker knotting, which they still do a really good job with, but for those of you who maybe you're just delving into highlighted wigs, it can make a wig feel a lot lighter because of all the light colors in the front. That can also be really flattering. So there's pros and cons, but just be aware that Raquel Welch does that. This piece is what I would consider a low to moderate density. There is not a ton of hair in this one. It's not heavy. Um, I think it's something like three and a half ounces or something like that. It's the, the perfect amount of hair for the style. So you don't feel like you're overwhelmed with hair and you also don't feel like it's too sparse and you worry about seeing wefting. I know some people really want low density, low poof wigs, but you have to be careful because if you get too low of density, you, could, you do run the risk of seeing wefting if it's a little breezy outside. You don't have to worry about that with this one at all. As far as poof volume permities, this wig is a relatively low volume, flat, there is just a little bit of lift right here so that you can get that nice rounded bob shape, but there is no poofy, pillowy permatees. There's the littlest bit of crimpy fibers at the sides and in the back around here. Super minimal. Just enough to disguise the wefting and to I have a fiber hanging in my face. You know, if you're new to wigs, you can just pull those out. If you deal with Sometimes with these new, especially the heat friendly fibers with these new ones, you'll have little fibers here and there, see this one, kind of hanging in your face. You have a couple of options. You can take a hot airbrush or a hot comb or some heat and try to redirect them or if they just happen here and there, you just pull it out. It, you're not going to make your wig bald by doing that. So anyway, just a little tip for you. So there's really minimal, minimal permatease in this one. Let's look at the cap. So you have full mono top, so that means you can part it anywhere within this space, which gives it so much realism and flexibility if you want to change up your part. Or a lot of the mono part wigs come with the left part going over to the right. A lot of people don't part their hair that way naturally, and it doesn't look right to them because that's not what you're used to seeing. You can change that on here anytime you want. Saw and the, and the lace goes all the way to the ear tab, which gives you so much styling flexibility. Soft ear tabs with bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Really, really nice cap. Raquel Welch does such a good job with their caps. And I just want to see if I can see some of that crimpy fiber that I was telling you about so that you know what I mean. Because if there were poofy, pillowy permatees, you would see it when I would split the hair. But you see down to cap. Inside here... There is the barest minimal crimpy fibers. I'm hoping you can see those. That's what I mean by little crimpy fibers, technically called permatees, but not anything to worry about. So if you don't want to wig with permatees, I wouldn't avoid this one. I just don't think there's enough to even worry about. I've had wigs with zero permatees, not even any crimpy fibers, and there's something odd about them. They don't lay naturally, and when it's windy, you can see the wefting. So I really encourage you to not fully avoid permatees. Um, just be strategic about which wigs you get that have it. And you see how just easy and seamless it is to put it on. So my overall impression this is an adorable, if you like bobs with minimal layering, 
you're gonna like this one it is so great I actually think that if you like untold story but the price is a bit out of your reach because that one has a fully hand tied cap so it is quite a bit more expensive than this one I think you could get this one and be just as happy like I said if you want to do something different with these ends, it'll be really easy to deal with them with a hot air brush. And so unless you like, Untold Story does look a little bit different out of the box, but if you like this style, I really think that this is a great one to consider. All right, let's talk about color. I think this is my current favorite Raquel Welch color. Iced Cafe, let me grab the card. Oh, did I dropped it on the floor. Of course I did. When it's difficult to bend over. <laughs> Iced SS Ice Cafe Latte. Again, the color code is RL924SS. So this is a shadow shade color, meaning that it's got some rooting, but it's a shadow root. So it's not a, it's not a long root. It's not a heavy root. It's not a super dark root. It really is a shadow and very, very natural. There is no chance that somebody would see you and not think you went and got your hair colored with all these highlights. So in that case, this looks really natural. It's how your hair would look if you went to a stylist. It doesn't look like regrowth in my opinion. And then they've got all these gorgeous light golden colors up in the front here. Let me take it off and, and talk you through it. So what I like about this is that it's kind of a neutral color, sort of neutral, little bit of ash tones. You know, I'm 50 years old and I have a lot of salt and pepper over here. My hair is looking extra special today, but a lot of salt and pepper over here. Because this leans more kind of neutral and in some light, some of this blonde can look a little ashy. My bio hair blends with this so well. That's one of the things I love about this color. I also think it would be flattering on a lot of people because it's not super warm. It doesn't pull any red, really, but it's got just the perfect blend of brunette and blonde. I would say, and the blonde is a kind of a, it's a golden blonde, but with some ash pieces in there as well. So there's definitely dynamic colors within that golden blonde. I would consider this one a light brunette. I wouldn't consider this a blonde. It reminds me more of somebody who had um, maybe like a, a light, medium light brown hair and then they got it highlighted. So the color code with the number nine, that's actually not a color on the list. It's a blend. I think it's it's just a blend of an eight and a 10. So you've got your chestnut brown, your, your medium light brown and a 10 and blended it. Beautiful, beautiful color. And then the 24 SS is just a golden blonde. So, or the SS 24, really beautiful. So I'm gonna get outside so you can see this color outside. I also have an out of the box for you. So if you want to see this one out of the box, stick around till the end. I'll put some pictures on the end. This tucks beautifully. And like I said, because of some of the ash tones in the blonde, I think my bio hair blends well enough that it passes muster. I also love that if you wanted to sort of tamp down any poof that you might feel, just doing some tucking, look at how much that helps that. And if you want more volume on this one, I would, again, just take a round brush, a hot air brush, and I would just kind of stick it underneath, kind of wrap it under, and then I would just hold it up until it cools, and then you'll find that you've given yourself just a little bit of lift. So I really think it's going to be great for just about everybody. Let's get outside so you can see this one outside. Thank you again to Name Brand Wigs for sending this to me. I appreciate you guys so much, and I love opportunities to show new styles to all my wig sisters. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll talk to you soon. All right, everyone. Here is this gorgeous color outside. Step over into the sun while I watch where I'm walking.
I can't look at my camera when I'm facing the sun like that. So let's come over here so I can make sure I'm getting you every view. So here's that front. There's the root, I think. And then one more up close. So you can see it's not a perfect match with my bio hair, but if I kind of fluff it forward a little bit, I think it passes. It's such a pretty piece. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. All right, here's the unboxing that I did for Instagram. It's really important for you to see what it looks like out of the box. So when I do these, I have not looked at them. My reaction is genuine. It is the first time I'm seeing it. Now every unboxing is going to be different. Yours might look a little different out of the box, but these give you a good idea. Straight bobs with very little permatees tend to look really good out of the box though. At least they're easy to tell if you're going to like it. You're not typically going to have terrible box hair. So I've talked about all of these things with you guys already. So really you're just looking at what did I see? How did it look? You can see it pretty much looked like this. Hope you appreciate and like when I add these on. I love feedback in the comments if you like when I add these on for you guys.